That's our climbing gym. Where I've just been falling off the wall as usual. I think last time we went to KNL, we'd come from the climbing gym. Anyway, picking up a few standards, nothing too exciting. Just uh, Ugidal and uh, the new Isle of Barley. Let's go and get them. We'll have a look and see what's there. I'm not expecting too much new stuff today because we've been in quite recently, but it's always worth a look, isn't it? Let's go and see. It's in the cabinet. Let's see. That's rare perfection, 15 year Canadian. Mm. <laughs> 30 year bona. 350. ones, of course, in the expensive cabinet. Now we'll have a look down the uh, American section. Is a 59 for what have we got? The 519? Yeah, that was in Costco for about 70, wasn't it? Country ham, beaten biscuits, $60 each. names. What is yeah. This one's come up a few times in uh, various reviews. I think it was Dustin, right? Like Cream of Kentucky. about myths and legends to know if I'm excited or not to see those. There's quite a few of them. Yeah, I just don't know. Springbank's normally at the end of that shelf. Oh, I see. I see they've moved them. <laughs> wow, that's a big box of Loch Lomond. What's, what's going on there? Ah, I see. A couple of minis. Now that almost fell out. 
off for a little taste of punch. I wonder how the old Poltonies have been selling. Too many in there, so maybe selling pretty well. Oh, is that a small? Why is that a small? 750. I'm confused. <laughs> It's hard to open the tins on Port Charlotte. Oh. Yeah, just having fun here. Looking at everything. We'll do, thanks. Good range of Gil Homan. What is the uh, let's see, batch? I'm trying to see how old that might be. I have to get the bottle out to have a look, I guess. Let's have a look. Forty-eight point five percent. Twelve sixty bottles, but that was the distillery date. Distilling date. Still can't see. Seventy percent bourbon. Five percent sherry. Twenty-five percent port. Oh, maybe it's um, no age statement. Small batch. Yes. Well, home would normally put the, the dates on. I'm just not seeing it today for whatever reason. Let's see, are there any new independents? So many good ones. Oh. You all want me to go and look, don't you? At the percentage. But these are all 56.5. Yeah. No 57.1s yet. Just to be double sure. I know what you're thinking. Sorry. <laughs> I just realized I haven't seen any Springbank in the shop. Oh, I see, because they're sold out. Springbank 12. Just that long row. Wow, not too many things. Oh, good <laughs> <laughs> but then I was also looking at the Ben Nevis. But this is mm. this is the one we tried in the small sample bottles. <laughs> well, we just liked ours better, but we still liked it. I liked this one. I liked the Glen uh, Moray. And no, we didn't try the Glen Burger. We, we tried a nine-year mortal after this one. Well, we have one uh, from the Cadenhead Warehouse. That's Glen Oak. Oh, it's a Brooklady. Interesting. Uh, oh, it's 40%. <laughs> Denega. 
Here's another curious one. It's a 15 year Brocladi Madeira butt. Oh. I have too much color on it. 54% though. A single cask of Brocladi. Hmm. Oh yeah, I meant to have a closer look at this one. This was the one that Jason was talking about, wasn't it? It's a, a very unusual looking bottle. So Highland Park, it's 50% ABV and it's 20 years, obviously no sherry. And it's a, oh I see, it's a K&L exclusive. Interesting one. See, it's just like Pappy, but cheaper. <laughs> Out into the sun. I know. Got a little look of uh, European light with the longer shadows. Well, as long as they get in California at least. <laughs> 